are folks sold on Mary Burke's running for governor, or are folks kind of saying out of it? Or? I gotta look more into it. No. Maybe you should explain what's happening right now. I wish we had better. Because we're so uneducated. <laughs> Public schools. So, <laughs> the reason why I'm saying these things is that because that's what you, that's what your political system. So you're looking at me like, dude, you're fucking absurd. You're crazy. <laughs> what the fuck are you fucking? I'm confusing you. That's your political system. So you're looking at me crazy, and every day you're living in a system that's telling you how to think, when to think, and when to do it, while they're doing something the complete opposite, but got you all confused on these wedge issues and these labels and, and, and race and class and sex. I mean, they're doing this to you every day. The context of 2010 was white rage, to be honest with you. White people having to pay for health care for blacks and browns and gays, uh, racism with, with the first black president. Like, you saw a bunch of American pie hatred, this bubble up, where folks started voting against their own interests, where you had white, blue-collar males voting for Walker, even though Walker's policies are not for blue-collar white males. Because he was feeding into this anti-Milwaukee, anti-progress, anti-humanist movement that was really being funded. And we thought it was being funded by grassroots right, white radicals, right? No, Koch brothers, corporations. Rich people, confusing people, scaring people, scaring elderly about uh, Medicare, Medicaid changes due to the Affordable Care Act. This all type of nonsense going on that I saw up close and personal, you know, working, working in campaigns. And so now they get in office and they're choosing their own voters. Now this has been going on since the beginning of time. It's not a Democratic, not a Republican thing, right? But what they did was <laughs> they did some illegal things to really make sure that white districts maintained even wider, and Republican districts were even more Republican. So it's no more leaning Republican, no more leaning Democrat. It's like polarized Democratic Republican districts, white black districts. Nothing was being talked about. You guys saw your voter rights being attacked. Now all of a sudden your college IDs aren't enough. We, you need more IDs to vote, college students, because you're a liar. You're, you're lying about living here and going to school here. That's what they said. <laughs> but it's really because they didn't want college students to vote, because statistically, college, young college voters vote democratically. Then they changed the primary date. The primary used to be in September. Now they're in August. Why? School's not in session. Let's, just, let's make sure they're not in school to be around to vote and be keyed into the elections. So we care so much about democracy and this economy as a teacher. So now you see people hating public education, education reform. Now you see the expansion of voucher schools for rich families. Now you see public dollars going into private schooling for people who can already afford it. At the same time, you see Republicans cutting back on unemployment. And that's a national thing, too. Not extending unemployment benefits, making you wait a week before those benefits kick in making it more invasive of them to basically say, you, to deny you those rights. So we're not creating, so the past three years, we've basically hurt the economy through the collective bargaining bill. Wisconsin's lagging in job growth. He's nowhere close to creating 250,000 jobs. And these are facts. This has nothing to do with my partisan lens. These are just facts of the, the reality of what we live in, right? All these things are happening. But what are we still talking about? Gay rights women's rights, things to polarize people, things to feed into the sense of those, those deep, like I said, American values of division, racism, sexism, classism. And all the while, rich folks, predominantly white, are making money off of it.